This is a multiplaying episode 33, recorded on Friday, May 7th, 2010. Everybody online, looking good. A companion podcast to the collaborative blog and gaming community that's playing as life allows, this is multiplaying. Well, let's start the insanity. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Hello? Uh, Great heavens! What kind of radio show is this? And this is multiplaying... <laughs> What are you laughing about? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. You guys, okay, I know the cameras are nice little new toys, but you have to focus on the show. We record audio. Ah, uh, he's making his fingers do stuff. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, you know, there's, uh, there's a new person we hired. Her name is Ha. H-A-A. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I laugh, right. I'm calling her name. You're an idiot. I know, but it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm like, ha, she's going to be like, what? This is multiplaying. <laughs> Tonight we have Jason. Hi. Uh, we have John. Ha. Steve. Hi. Uh, you can catch us if you want to see us live. You can catch us at www.livevideo.com slash live show slash multiplaying every Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern daylight standard time you know we should get that uh this episode of family ties has been recorded in the live studio audience and put the multi-playing in there <laughs> do it yeah let's go yeah right now well let's get this show on the road jason what are you currently beveraging with I'm drinking a strawberry blonde at the moment yeah i don't i i think it's a manly drink that's a beer yeah from um, harbor brewing company really good you went to you went to a launch party for it i went to the launch party for it. this brewery like if you're a a member um then you get to go and if they're launching a beer for the season you get like for two hours it's all the beer you can drink and all of the pizza and they had hummus and pita bread and like all you wow. can eat too yeah it was awesome sounds pretty Could disgusting be a member. huh sounds pretty disgusting well if you don't like beer then yeah. yeah i probably wouldn't like it it's pretty terrible anyway what are you drinking john uh i finished my like third or fourth glass i can't actually remember uh, uh-huh. uh of wine. Uh, we got this new organic wine. I don't know if I told you guys or not. We're on this like organic diet now, uh, which actually for the past month, I've lost about 20 pounds. So that's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, I'm enjoying that. But uh, this organic wine is new. We've not tried that yet. And it is quite delicious. I've already finished the bottle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> healthy. Yeah, you're living healthy now. You're taking care I'm, of your body. Yeah, I've, I'm living healthy now. I've got a whole bottle of wine in me. I'm feeling like I need to go for bottle number two. Because uh, it's not really doing much. It's organic. Compared. You can drink however much you want. Oh, yeah. 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 It's good for you. The organic one is healthy for you. It helps. You know, I, I, I'm going to get some organic cocaine later. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, some, maybe some organic ecstasy. Uh, organic crystal meth. Organic, crystal, organic speed. Organic everything. Steve, what was that uh, bottle you showed us? What are you drinking? Drinking the wood chuck. Oh, it I is. It. How much wood does it chuck? <laughs> Well, now you can uh, see every time on, I roll my eyes. <laughs> depends my, on my wife's mood, I guess. Ah, uh, I oh, does she like woodchuck? No. Okay, then no. She doesn't even like wood. <laughs> hey, uh-huh. does she uh-huh. like Chuck? Uh-huh. This dude, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, <laughs> the manly neighbor next door. <laughs> All right. What are you drinking, Shannon? Yeah, I have Pepsi Max. I'm giving Ow. my kidneys a break, my liver a break this week. Sorry. You suck. Even Grimnir disapproves. I'm yeah. Sorry. Everyone's gonna everyone's gonna just gonna turn off this podcast because uh, it's gonna suck. They know. Go get me something to put in it. Oh. All right. Yeah, maybe some moonshine. Well, okay, well let's do what do you plan, Jason? I don't want to listen to you anyway, so I'll go get something in this while <laughs> you talk. What you been playing, Jay? Uh, okay. Um Where's your sign? Oh. It's awesome. Okay, she's leaving now. I need help. Please, somebody. <laughs> Get me out of here. Take down this address. I've got a limited time, so listen carefully. <laughs> oh, she's yelling, shut up. Okay, I've been playing um, Warhammer and stuff. Okay. <laughs> really. I'm afraid for my life. No, um, I've been playing... Uh, I've been playing Street Fighter 4 with my uh, fight stick. I've been w- the thing I'm pissed about is Steve apparently won't play until he gets his new fight stick. 
So I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. He's not getting a new one. He's updating the he's old up, one. It, yeah, he's updating whatever. Well, so, I'll probably start playing though because I uh, I ordered the parts to upgrade mine today, and I found out it's probably going to be two to four weeks before they come. So I'm pro- <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm probably going to start playing it anyways. So all right, good because I need some. You're like, I gotta wait a whole month. Fuck that. <laughs> well, these like real people online are like way too good. You know? Yeah, know. that was you know that was uh, pretty rough last couple times I played. You're gonna run into that on League of Legends too, where the people are just too good. Like yeah. it's just stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the it, same thing. It's the same thing. It's it's random matchmaking. So it's like good luck. <laughs> it's still fun, but I I you know I mean way more fun when you when you can actually feel like you're learning something from playing against somebody or actually feel some sort of accomplishment, but. The right. new fight stick, uh, playing with the fight stick is a lot, I mean, you only play a little bit with it, but the the difference between going from what I was playing with before makes it a lot more fun. So I've been playing that, I've been playing some of the Halo Reach beta, which... How are you liking that? Um, I'm liking it. I, I'm a little bit disappointed because I, I think my expectations going in were that it was going to be Halo, which I've I've always liked, and I know that's a big, you know, you either love Halo or you hate Halo, depending on where you're coming from, but... Yeah. The I thought there was going to be a proper leveling system in it, and there is a leveling system. It's a little bit more f- formalized than the previous ones, but it's it's all purely cosmetic stuff. So I, once I kind of figured out when I got my first level, like oh, I'm not really working towards anything, was kind of a disappointment. But it, overall, the game is really fun, and the armor ability stuff they put in is a lot of fun. So there are finally it's a class system in Halo now. Where every time you respawn, you pick your class, and they have some pretty cool abilities. So, I don't know, I'm having fun with that. I've also been playing some Splinter Cell Conviction mm-hmm. on the 360, which I wanted to wait and get the PC version. And then I once I realized in the reviews that it was another poor Ubisoft PC port of a Splinter Cell game, because the last ones have been buggy messes that uh i went ahead and got in the 360 and it's a lot of fun have you guys ever played any splinter cell yeah i, I have played the first one a little bit and i didn't really like it and i have not even touched one since what about you john uh i played splinter cell i, I play everything on the pc regardless of bugs so they eventually patch stuff but i don't get stuff like that like i thought about getting conviction but i probably won't get it until like next black friday when it's on sale for like two dollars uh, but yeah, I played Splinter, Splinter Cell. Um, it's cool, but I don't know. Uh, nothing drove me to buy it this year. For I don't know. I've, like I've played all of them and I've I've liked them all. And this one is a lot of fun. But the new marks and ex- mark and execute system that's in place is a lot of fun. But well, let me explain it first. It's in Splinter Cell. If you get up close to somebody and you do a melee takedown of them, you get these. You get a mark and execute, which is you can tag people. And then if you're in range of them, you can instantly kill them. So if, I, if, you're, if you're sneaking into a room and you see some guy and you're able to sneak up on him and kill him silently, you may get like three insta-kills. So if you can tag three people and actually get into range of them, so you could barge in a room with three guys, tag them, and then hit marks and ex- at mark and execute, he will instantly like bow, bow, pow, you know, take them out, which is a really cool cinematic thing. But it does make it way easier than any of the past Splinter Cell games. So, so it's like if, Panzer Dragoon. Yeah, yeah. So it it, it takes it takes a, a lot of the challenge out of it. So I don't know. It's fun, and I'm I'm liking the story, and I'm liking some of the the cinematic things they do with it. Now it instead of just hearing your mission briefing through your your headpiece, you do hear that, but you get a lot of the story, and it's a lot more personal to the character now, to Sam Fisher. You get it like on the walls of the room as you're moving it. Like in a, and it, it's, it's in black and white, and it looks like an old movie. And then you get like your the lead, like what it tells you to do are on the walls. Like it's almost like a movie projector is shooting on the walls. So it keeps you in the experience, and the story is actually pretty decent so far. I think I'm about near the end, but overall I'm having fun with it. Um, just it's, it's very different. I think it's going to split the uh, population or the fan base of Splinter Cell a lot. I think they'll get a lot of new people who are new to the series who really like it but i think some of the people who really appreciated the stealth aspect and the trial and error of it before are going to be kind of turned off so i don't know that's pretty much what i've been playing i haven't been able to play a whole lot of war this week you got finally got back did you get your drink oh yeah yeah you're gonna you might hear some crazy talk about me 
saying things, but uh, that didn't happen. Yeah, I had it this week. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't happen. No, none of so it happened. So she's going to hear it. What about you, Jen? What have you been playing besides League of Legends? Oh, I've been playing League of Legends, too. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, just okay. today, though. You know, you keep going. This is the this is the Aberrant Show. <laughs> Ah, well, I've been playing League of Legends. <laughs> um, some guy, John, was helping me with some of it. I don't know. It's he crazy. sounds kind of like a douchebag, actually. He kind of is. Yeah, he that sucks. talks about Maria and, and all this. <sighs> Maria. What a I'm bitch. Sorry, but, yeah, <laughs> what no, a I'll bitch. Let you talk. I just wanted to throw that in there. What have you been playing, John? Uh, besides League of Legends, still the same stuff, man. Just Star Trek, uh, a little bit of StarCraft 2 beta. That's That's it. Nothing's, um, nothing's, oh, I played a little bit more Elemental. Um, not really enough to give it like a review kind of thing, but I really do enjoy what they're doing with the game so far. And I understand it's in beta. It crashes. It has bugs. Whatever. It's in beta. I don't care. But what they're doing with the game so far, it's a lot of fun. And I really enjoy it. The I don't know if we've talked about it already, the dynasty system where you know mm-hmm. your, your children can grow down and, you know, yeah. you, as you see all this stuff happen, you're like, oh, wow. Yep. You know, like, should not have done that. Or Shouldn't should have. Done yeah. this. You know, should have worn a rubber. That. Yeah, should have worn a rubber. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know. It's, it's in general. Just Speaking of uh, Star Trek Online, I heard you tempted someone else into trying it. Did I? Yeah. Was, yeah. It a, was it a Ruth? Uh, Steve, what have you been playing lately? I have not played it yet, but I'm... Uh... Hopefully this weekend they're going to, starting actually today, supposedly, I haven't jumped on it yet, but uh, today they're supposed to have a welcome back weekend for people that have previously played the game, as well as a uh, demo version of the game. Um, somebody on Twitter tried to send me a buddy key, but it didn't end up working, um, so I was looking into alter- uh, alternative excuse me, methods uh, to play, and I think I might be able to jump on the demo. Uh, I won't oh. be picking it up yet, regardless, even if I do... Can, I have a third one, actually, just so you know. I have another a 14-day one or something. All right, I'll try it out. Send anyway, it my keep way. Going. Send I will. It my way. Um, I will. All right. Uh, but if I do end up deciding to go ahead and pick up the game, I'm, I'm going to be waiting until end of the month anyways because I'm still trying to get through uh, Assassin's Creed <clears throat> 2, excuse me, uh, and I have Red Dead Redemption coming in a couple weeks. So, Oh, man, um, that game is so tempting. Yeah, yeah. so good. I have not put anything down on it. I don't want to buy it, but I'm like, man, I keep looking at it like I want to get it. It's already it, yeah. sold. But no, to no I shouldn't get it. I shouldn't get it because I won't get play it. it. I won't play I'm, it for like a month. It'd be so wrong. It'd be almost fun to oh, get it. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to waste money on games that you don't even play. Yeah. Because no. you don't do that. No. I, none of us do hey, that. Hey, oh, I want to know how's Command and, how's, uh, Command and Conquer 4? <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You're so oh, you funny. haven't played that yet? No, I I played about two missions and I keep going back to League of Legends and that's about it, um, oh, because it's they changed it too much. It's uh, we won't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> um, Steve, I was wondering what was it about um, Star Trek Online that made you want to try it? Like- <laughs> uh, honestly, it started with the stuff that John talked about last week with the uh, upcoming. Um, additions to the game about expanding your the ability to walk around the ship and adding third the third faction. side, yeah. third faction man. That kind of really got the mag- me uh, the magical side, the magical interested. number. Uh, and then no, the, that the, absolutely me too. The the extra thing that got me interested is that I finally I will finally watch the uh, new Star Trek movie <clears throat> yesterday, and I was like, man, that makes me want to play that game. Yeah, you know, no, like, that was one of the best things that happened for that game to get people hyped yeah. for it. Yeah, is that it's movie? True. It's very true. I'll good. probably I'll probably still get on that game and go. Yeah, this is not really my cup of tea, but it's it's at least got me interested to go back and try it out again, uh, and give it a second chance that See, I didn't think I was going to. Yeah, what it's going to do is you're going to be all jacked for the game. You're going to log in. You'll be like, I want to go watch that movie again. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and That's, the game is getting you jacked for the movie. The movie is getting you jacked for the game. You're going to keep bouncing back and forth. No, yeah, I think no. it'll all get jacked for the movie again in the end. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, other than uh, other than trying to play that, just all I've really been playing this week is Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, I think I'm almost done with it. I kind of hope I am because I want to move on to playing some other stuff. So that game is pretty long. It it's getting to the point now where I I feel like I've put a lot into it, and it's it's almost I'm like right on the like the verge of saying okay, now I'm kind of getting bored with doing this stuff. 
Um, I'm not bored yet. I'm still enjoying it. I love the storyline in it. But now I'm actually at the point where, and you could probably tell me how far away I am, that I'm at the point where I can't go any further until I get all the codex pages. Right. I don't well, know, that... yeah, I think you're getting towards the end. It, yeah. Once you get there, you'll know, though, because it goes batshit insane. Okay. The one thing that I will say that that was just odd as hell is that I finally, like, just a few days ago had the part where it actually took me out of the animus and I had to go try out my stuff in the real world and impress the chick with the big zombie lips. Uh, And then I went back into the animus for a while. And then, like, just yesterday or the day before that, it pulled me back out of the animus for all of, like, five or ten seconds. Just, are you okay? And then she, like, puts them back into the end. He's like, no, I got to go back in there. And she puts them back in. It was like, why in the hell do they even do that? It's like, just to like say, Hey, there is still like an, an outside story going on here. I, I don't know. Yeah. And well, yeah, some of that stuff is awkward, but it does make a little bit more sense towards the end. But yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll look forward to that. But other than that, Assassin's Creed 2 is seriously all I've been playing this week. And, um, Other than tonight, I sat down at the computer with my daughter and jumped on iTunes because she what she usually plays on my uh, iPod, uh, my iPod Touch while we're in the car going to pick up her brother, and uh, so I was like, okay, we'll sit down tonight and we'll try to get you some new games because she can't play half the stuff that I got on there. So we sat down and played. So uh, I have some stuff on here I never thought that I would have. Um, I'm going to hold it up to the camera. I don't know if you 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 probably can't see; it's too bright. It's all glare. Make me a princess. Yes, make me a princess. Oh, I love oh, that game. Man. Don't you? That's my favorite game. Fantastic. Is it purple? It's purple and pink as shit. Uh, but she digs the hell out of it. She could, Basically, it's just a paper doll thing. You can dress up the little paper doll. So um, That and some other games that I still haven't played yet. So we'll see. But that is all I've got. Shannon. I have less than you. I've been playing KOTOR. I'm, I like want to finish it this yeah. weekend. You know what, like, though? That's worth more than Warhammer. I've got, like, 40-plus hours in it, which I've been told, like, the game doesn't even, like, last that long. But I talk to everybody, like, 29 <laughs> times, and I do all the quests. And I, I'm a map completionist, so I'm, like, going all over the place. Like, yes! To, to I'm, not the, well, not, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only I'm not the only one. Thank you. Yeah, I do that, too. Completionist. Oh, um, and I was totally pissed because I've been trying to bang Karth, and he Gross. finally, I know, he was finally getting on board, and he was like, oh, you know, interested, talking about how incredible I am, and he wants to protect me, and all, I'm his reason for going on after he gets his revenge on Saul, and then Saul totally cock-blocked me and told him I was revving. I was like, son of a bitch! <laughs> and he was like, went right back to, you got it. <laughs> like, you, got it. Saying, you got it. You got it. <laughs> Like, damn it! Yeah, he, he's um, like, he's like, damn it, so. whoa! Oh, he, he's like, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait a second. Wait, let's be friends. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then I just uh, got the final star map tonight before podcast started, and now um, Carth wants to like totally do me again. So it's awesome. Oh, so he's, like, he's like, sup? He's like, sup? I want to do you. Yeah, I want to do you, except not really. What hour mark are you at in that game? I'm at 43 hours. I'm trying there to remember. So like playing that, that game. Is that, like, I, is that a like a 40 hour game or like a 20 some hour game? Someone said it was like 30 if you've played through it before. Okay, you might be. You're probably right. I haven't played through it in a while, so. Yeah, I think that's about right though. It's like if you play through it, and then you play through it again to do everything. It's about 30. Okay, yeah, J Dub saying about thirty, forty. So yeah, but I also like I'll get up and like like tonight I like got up and like made dinner. So like not all of that is actual played because I don't leave the game and just let it go as I get up and walk away mm. and do things. So oh. do any of you d- do that where you know that games that keep track of your hour mark you are kind of weird about quitting because you don't want to be reminded of how pitiful your life is. Five hours. <laughs> what I didn't play is one hundred forty. It was a twenty-hour game. <laughs> Or, or you know those like those cheap like eight hour games. You have like sixty five hours in it, and you're like, <laughs> "How did you do that?" I don't know. I was like, "FK, I, I need to make some serious life changes here." <laughs> Where are my kids? I am really not good at this What's game. <laughs> and the RPG Dragon Age three hundred and seventy five yeah, hours. That's that's the scary one. And the thing that uh, about the new Steam client where it keeps track of total hours really freaks me oh, out. Oh, God, that's that. so scary. 
like where it's it's starting to track like your whole history. Thank God it's not retroactive. Otherwise, Team Fortress <laughs> Two. Otherwise, yeah. Team Fortress Two would be like seventeen years down the drain, and I'd be like, "Wow, that's what I did with my life." <laughs> oh well, that's where my life went in high school. Been a doctor. <laughs> I could have been a doctor at 22. <laughs> been Doogie fucking how? Let's let's could have it. You'd have, you'd have just been watching TV instead if you didn't play video games. So yeah, no, you don't. I don't want any Would, time stamps on anything. Wouldn't it be scary, even scarier, if they started time sunset. stamping how much, how much? Yeah, sunsets too. But <laughs> how much TV you watched? Like 29 I don't nine minutes total lifetime. Yeah, that's me actually. <laughs> Because all of my time is on the computer, but that'd be bad for some people. They'd be like, what? I wasted 20 years of my life on TV? <laughs> that'd be depressing. I'd want to know, like, shitter times. I want my toilet to keep track of how long I'm on there, because that would be like, yeah. I'm proud of that. I took care ass, of this. Ass cheek recognition. Ass Welcome cheek. back, Jason. <laughs> ah, thank you. Is it, the, is it that lovely Steve voice, too? <laughs> <Be> disturbing. <laughs> yeah. well, the creepy, that. calm Steve voice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Would you like a magazine today? <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Um, Would you like oh, some you- from the secret bin? From your preferred <laughs> bin? <laughs> <laughs> so one number one, number two, or number three? Three. Is this for business or pleasure? Like it's got two selections. <laughs> business, pleasure, or prefer not Gives to be you known. A USA Today or a We or Cherry magazine. It's, oh. Wow. Oh. Huh? What happened? <laughs> Went there. I'll be right back. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go to the store. <laughs> Take that trash can with you. We is spelled O U I, just so you know. This thing um, right here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That right there is a hamper, actually. I knew it. I knew it was a hamper. This is all great for people uh, not watching live. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Anyway, back to what I was playing. I've uh, been playing <sighs> Love the Basics, Words with Friends, Plants and Zombies, um, We Rule on the iPhone. And, yeah, I want to get back to Kodor because I have to resave Bastila, and then that's it, right? Hey, yeah, you're, you're getting that's there. That's it. I'm there. Okay, yeah, I'm almost there. You're pretty close. <sighs> Jason was disappointed I did not go the Bastila love route with my girl character. I like Bastila. I don't know. I know you like Bastila. I hated I her. About I hated Bastila. her so much. I hated yeah. her. I wanted to kill her every game. I didn't care. I was like, you know what? I'm going to kill you, bitch. Yeah. I have to punish her. What's up? Awkward. Yeah. Um, Massively multiplaying. We're in um, Warhammer. If you had your billing error, the, I guess the tokens are now in game. Yes, I, oh, yeah. I didn't play any Warhammer this week. Yeah, I didn't play any Warhammer this week. I did jump on just long enough to uh, grab those out of my mailbox. I haven't played either. See people with all that stuff. I, I haven't. Cost I, I haven't played Warhammer either. I'm sorry. Oh, could be I that I don't even sorry. have. I don't think I have it even installed in my computer though, so that might not count. I don't like you. <laughs> You laugh like that. Ha! Ah, <laughs> yes. My plan is working. <laughs> Your plan of not having Warhammer installed. Yeah. You're gonna show us all. I knew it. Do you see the wife? No, you, there's, there's the a, wife. Oh, there's her. <laughs> That's... What happened? Hey, I Jen. see your whole booty. Hey, Jen, how you doing? <laughs> Everyone you know says hi. I missed the booty? She yeah. waved. She waved. Her booty was there, so. and then it was gone. Yeah, it was like pet ow, and then it was like, aww. Yeah. I see what you put in this hamper. <laughs> you sick, like, I heard she turned around and went, you sick bastard, you put this in here? <laughs> why, is this, why is this towel all stuck it's together? So How did you know? How did you know? Put blue on these shorts? <laughs> I told you to throw these away. He's got holes in them. Oh. <sighs> My mom's underwear in here. Oh, God. What is this? <laughs> is this chocolate or poop? <laughs> it's a neck massager. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Oh, man. Ah, uh, you're gross. Huh. 
<laughs> Me? You guys are the one that started all this junk. No, your wife's ass started all this junk. Mm. Oh, her <laughs> junk in the trunk, you mean. Her trunk started this junk. Her trunk junk. Oh, man. Oh, it's a good thing we don't record video. She would be in the murderous state. So you didn't warn her that you had a camera going? Oh, she wanted us to see it. She, she was like, what's up? This is my ass. Anyway. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> Whew. What the hell, dude? I could dump. I had to cross two solariums, <laughs> the library. I thought I'd just chase down Maria for my freaking wine. I mean, oh, you need to get God. rid of that bitch. She's I terrible. Know. I got rid of her twice, but she keeps coming back. I don't know how this hiring agency is terrible that I have. Well, when you only pay three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars. She wished she got paid that much. God damn those illegal immigration laws. Seriously. <sighs> what are we talking about? Did you have uh, did you have sex? I think he had sex. <laughs> he had sex. He saw no, hamper booty and he had to get some of them go. Not. Yes, did you not did. Yeah, he did. He had sex. Hamper booty. <laughs> You're like, he's like, you know what? That ass did look good. <laughs> I had to go check out that ass. <laughs> you, <laughs> See what it's all about. Podcast to go have sex. It's a good thing I muted the mic. Ooh. Would you rather him do that or play games? I'd rather him take a sex break than sit there and click all <laughs> through the fucking podcast. You know, like this, the dickler. All right, let's. We're back. Let's move on. Hey, what is? Do you guys know what play on is? Nope. Like a play on words the, uh, or H- Hulu type viewer? Yeah. Can you like describe it quickly? I can't. I can't enough to accurately. I've only read a little bit about it. I sent it to you. Oh, I know. I didn't read it. I read a little bit. <laughs> Hate you so much. <laughs> Sorry. Read the, can read you can you describe it? You obviously sent it to me. Well, well, I I could sort of summarize it. Oh, can you half ass it? Because I mean that would be hard. <laughs> I could Good. sort of half ass it. Here we go. All right. Has his uh, promises. Irresponsible report <laughs> coming in. <laughs> all right, so basically, this is what it's all about, right? You can watch stuff like Hulu, Netflix, um, you know, random sports online channels, stuff like that, all on your TV. What you do is you download all this junk onto your Wii, Xbox, PS3, whatever, from your computer that you would normally play like hulu and netflix instant stream on and you put on your ps3 which is obviously hooked up to your computer you network them together and you got all that shit on your tv as well that's what play on is based on that's my half ass if you're thinking about getting play on you want to do it before may 15th because before may 15th it's 20 bucks flat fee but after that they're going to have what is it it's going to be 40 bucks and then an annual recurring payment of 20 bucks. So, you know, if you buy it before May 15th, you just have to purchase it once, and that's it. But after May 15th, then there'll be an annual fee to owning it. Oh, so and... get you after got, when they can to get it now. Yeah, yeah, if you're thinking about it, do it quickly. Yeah, and you get YouTube as well. You could just cruise the YouTube. Now, I saw on that thing that you sent me, though, that it, it goes to the Wii PS3 360. Yeah, but I, I, don't, I don't know of any of those systems that offer that. The play on service. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't really get what it was or how it was different from. Yeah, well, basically, you, you pay twenty bucks for the convenience of this one program pulling all of these separate programs together. I gotcha. <clears throat> <clears throat> like you could just watch them all separately, or you could pay twenty bucks and have this thing do it for you all in one place. You know, it's like, eh. I'll yeah. keep my twenty bucks. For me, Sir. since I have a since I have this thirty inch monitor hanging on the wall, which is where my, which is my ca- which is where my camera is hanging from, actually, I, I have no use for play on because I have Hulu and Netflix streaming from this nice monitor I have here. But for people who don't have that, who have regular sized monitors, no, um, for, the, for the peasants. Oh, for, for those, everything under thirty, people who don't have regular yeah. size. Yeah, has a regular monitor. Basically, basically anything under thirty inch, you want to get play on. Jeez, <laughs> what a dick! He's kind of an ass, isn't he? By the way, this is this is my clawfist. By the way, just so you guys know, he just had sex. He's feeling really cocky right now. 
<laughs> okay, I got to uh, Since you just had sex, is that your bed right behind you? This is the bed that we lie in the uh, closet. Have sex? Did you just have sex right there? It's <laughs> part of the bed. This is the closet bed. Is that where you just had sex? <laughs> Stop dodging the question. <laughs> we call it the claw bed. Oh, God, he right just there. had sex right there. <laughs> we could see part of the bed where you just had sex. <laughs> Would you like me to adjust the camera view? No, no. Not now. Are you sure? It's too late. <laughs> and you get might. the black light. Yeah, you might see an attractive person there. All right, yeah, adjust the camera yeah. then. No, you know what? You lost your chance. Too slow. <laughs> what do you mean too slow? You never even told us. <laughs> uh, you remember that ass you saw earlier? Yeah, you're not going to see that again. Uh. <laughs> Actually, we're coming to Florida, so we will see it again. Well, you two will, but Steve and everybody else in this chat room, nope. Oh. <sighs> All right. We got feedback, correct? We do have feedback. Thank you. Hooray. We have a few emails here. I'll start with uh, one from Zube. Uh, Long time listener, first time caller. Uh, what are the upcoming games that you're most looking forward to and why? Uh, first off, he'll say, uh, excuse me. First, he says, Hello. for me, what? What? He says, he says for me, I'd have, it had, it'd have to be Guild Wars 2 and Diablo 3. Mass Effect 3 too, but that's a, likely a ways off. Mass Effect 3 too. That's uh, that's a long no, way off. T O O. Also, oh, 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 oh. Shut up, so old and Shut up. <laughs> Also, if you don't mind sharing, uh, and you'd like you'd like a game, what are your names and words with friends? So, I guess start from the top. What are the upcoming games that we're looking forward to, and why? Spator. Yes. No, I'm going first. Spator. Do it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, Guild Wars 2 and Star Wars The Old Republic. Those are my two looking forward to's. But, see, also, I'm looking forward to playing Mass Effect so I can then play Mass Effect 2. So even though they're already out, I'm That's looking true. forward to playing. <laughs> it's new to you. Yeah. Jason? Um, wow. Um, You took one of them with Guild Wars 2. We haven't really talked about Guild Wars 2. So we don't know Do anything we love... about it. <laughs> well, it's well no, there's been some information coming out last week or so. Googling right now. Did, didn't you see those yeah, elementalist videos. videos? Those videos are bad ass. No, I didn't even see that. Really? Oh. No. I just saw screenshots. All right, we need to take a break while you guys, while you fuckers watch those. All right, you guys watch that shit. I'm starting it up right now. Yeah, I heard you can get like the original Guild Wars. It's only like 20 bucks for. Everything. That's true, actually. The <sighs> Guild Wars 2. We'll have the jump option. You can jump over things this time. Shut up. And I heard, too, there's going to be a persistent world where you can actually be in the world and see and interact with other people. Shut up. No, they're not. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That is... Wow, that's so unique. I know. I mean, you're they might such, have... You're such an asshole. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Paz, are you watching these videos? You're not watching these videos, are you? I am watching one of these elementalist videos of Guild Wars 2. And I have to say, it looks pretty terrible. Really? I thought they looked great. Oh my gosh, you know what's badass about that? Uh, well, then again, then again, all I see is this douchebag talking and no actual video of the game. Oh, okay, no, you're not watching the, the wrong video then. Dude, what did you link to him? Because I was talking about the comments. Nobody linked anything. I just went nobody, and found it. Nobody linked oh, shit. Okay, hold on one second. No, we didn't link it. it. I told him to Google it. Yeah, I did, and all I got was this douchebag talking about what would be cool about an Okay, hold on. Such a hold on. You assholes, Look, hold on. I'm looking at, I, I've idiot. already watched, I've already watched like two videos and nothing has come up. That's fun. So hold dumb. on, see on me, hold on. Brain damaged. I just have bad luck, all right? Although, actually, I just found a video that looks pretty cool, except the graphics were terrible. The skills look awesome. Shut up. Oh, Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix bomb. Shut Three up. Seconds. Shut up. I can't believe you don't shut up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you just keep going and going. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. No, oh, except for the Energizer God. Bunny didn't fucking talk. <laughs> oh. just, he just hit a drum. I take that right now. Get a drum. Get, take the hamper, turn it upside down, and get a wooden spoon. Bring more, 
Okay, Wasid Stomp. Here we go. Paz talks more when he drinks more, but then he gets these long pauses in between everything he says. So <laughs> he talks he's something. just like this. this. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to edit and chop it all like every fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> and it becomes really God damn it. Fucking Shut up. Shut up. Awesome. Ah. <sighs> Why is he on the show? Because you guys love me. All right, did you guys get the only guy sent? Camper sex. I did. He's just jealous. They're, see, they're just jealous because you had sex. I know. There's ample room in this claw office. I could be doing something. You could be having office sex, too. Damn. No, it's claw office sex. Claw office sex. Claw office More sex. like claw fex. No, something too far. Like no. no, just no. no. Stop. Yeah. It's too much merging. You put it too right, close too to much, the that's too did much you watch, stuff. Did you watch the video? I did not. Hang on. Were... <laughs> what, what are you doing? Good God. I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> we have a I can't show. handle this. Oh, damn it. He's gonna go, now watch. He's going to go slit his wrists, <laughs> and it's all your fucking fault. But at least then I could court Zelly. Ugh, no, you can't. <laughs> no, that's true. I cannot. <laughs> because you're like my sister, and that's gross. Yeah, grody. But <laughs> at Bro. least it's... Oh man, if Dude. I if I say that right now, she will literally leave and throw yeah, don't up. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. I actually control the Skype. I can boot your ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that right now, except she is the host of the call. Oh, um, well, we're still waiting to have our Guild Wars two discussion. Mm-hmm. So, Paz, are you watching the fucking video? I did, and the graphics obviously it's not very far along, but it looks pretty cool. What? I thought it looked. I don't. It looks great. What are you watching? I I watched the link that that Ab gave me in I Skype. Thought it was great. Hmm, I thought and it was again, pretty I'm, damn good. You know, I'm playing Warhammer, so. Yeah, well, you are playing Warhammer. That's like, that's like, that's like doing a MOBA and then going on to like Diablo three. It's like, wow, this is awesome. It actually has pictures. <laughs> anyway, just saying. I don't I don't even know how to direct this conversation at this point. So, okay, we all watched the videos, right, for the yeah, elemental yeah. classes in Guild Wars 2. So, what did you think, Steve? I thought it was awesome. The one thing, I did not read the actual text going along with it, so I might just be uh, saying something that's obvious to everybody else and stupid. But what it seemed like to me was in the videos, it, depend- it depended on where you stood as to what spells you could cast. Sort of look like, yeah, the the water you, abilities. Yeah, and other like ones, you had yeah. to be in water for, to cast the water trident. Uh, if you were on just plain raw earth, you could cast the earth spells. That looked badass. I loved it. There's the the thing I read, too. I believe it was for Guild Wars 2. They have, like, a, a team-up system, too, so that, like, if you have, a, a, I don't know, a magic person and a warrior person, like, they could put up a wall of fire, and then if the the other person has arrows they could shoot them and then they would have flaming arrows as they pass through the wall and it would do more damage it would do like fire wow. arrow damage that's yeah. awesome i hope yeah. that actually comes true mm. yeah but i don't know if that's going to actually be in game or if it's like an alpha beta thing i'm already uh, just but that sounds cool from that Go alone ahead. i'm already interested enough to be checking the game out when it comes out but i uh, can't wait to see more uh, vid- uh, classes class videos yeah that's the only real Video uh, class they've shown off so far, I believe. So hopefully, I want to see yeah. some tanking. I want to see some fighting abilities and stuff. One so. thing that I will give to Guild Wars in general is that the class combination system, where you can pick any primary and any secondary, is they're pretty... not doing that in Guild Wars Two. Oh, they're not. No. Well, Guild Wars One was pretty sweet in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> that was the one thing you could have said nice about it, but that's gone. <laughs> well, now Guild Wars Two just sucks. <laughs> Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, moving on. This episode, by the way, has been brought to you by Guild Wars 2. Guild Wars 2. We're going to have them on the show next week. <laughs> Thanks, Paz. We'll, we'll be sure to let them know that you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, do we have some more feedback? We do have some more feedback. Uh, real quick, though, does anybody want to share their words with friends' names? Oh, oh yeah, I do. I think, hold on. Mine oh, is. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, mine is. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. Let me whip it out. Musical interlude. There's something wrong with you. Uh, Jason's is Abron. A B B E R O N. What's mine, Jay? Jason. Yours is. Oh. Shannon's is Shannon. S H N 
A N O N. Shenanon. Word pass yeah. go. Play it. But I have to warn you, I get to a game like once every two days. So I'm a long term words with friends player. Uh, Jay, he, he responds more quickly to those. All right. What the hell happened to pass? I don't know. He dumped out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so drunk that I left the window. I'm not sure. You what idiot! <laughs> well, at least uh, the chat room isn't going to be bothered with him anymore. Look, All I right. made it. I made it back. Are you having Just... sex? <laughs> Are you having sex again? What's going on? You have pants Maybe? on. Maybe. Nope. No, I see. I don't want to. I drank it. back up. You're there. Do you want I'm me to adjust my camera? No. No. All right, then. No one wants to see that. Okay. But you know. He passed out. I like that. <laughs> All right. We do have more feedback, though. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. We'll get to that. <laughs> All right. We have one from Den. I don't know if it was supposed to say something else, but it's from... It says Den. Uh, I have two throwback questions to Cotcast. Nice. Hard to, hard to believe I'm listening to you folks for that long. Totally unrelated to gaming, but half the fun is listening to the banter. Uh, feel free to address some, all, or absolutely none of these. I'm just sending them in for fun. First question. Whatever happened to drank? Jason and I drank an entire case of drank. And then we woke up eight months later. <laughs> <laughs> A month. In, in British Columbia. Um, we never bought another case of it, but we really liked it. it we was- got to the point where we were like divvying them up towards the end you know like oh you got another one i'm getting another one so that we were even i remember out. being <laughs> drinking one and shannon walked in you're drinking a drink are there any more left like uh you got really rough towards the end yeah <laughs> splitting and, it up uh, like addicts yeah <laughs> and you were so relaxed you're like, i don't know am i drinking one uh, <laughs> i was really <laughs> hoping by the time that case had ended it would have been in our local stores but that shit was expensive to order it yeah was. I remember back when you guys were talking about it on the show. I was I looked at it once. And I was like, eh, I don't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Ted and just asked in the chat. It, it was from Texas. Good. Yeah, it was from Texas. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Wazix, who I was on Wazix. podcast, used to Wazix. used to drink it when he went to work at the factory. Which yeah, uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. That's serious baller shit. Yeah, and he was in like steel wor- steel works or something like crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine him before he drank. Drank, he was like Kevin Bacon and Footloose, was just <laughs> swinging on cranes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then we never heard from him because he's still sleeping. Yeah. If you're listening, Wazix, we love you. I miss Wazix. Do you uh, know who misses Wazix? My mom. 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 Yeah. Jason's mom. Jason's mom misses everybody. No, that's not true. Mm. She has her favorites. Yep. It's basically it's basically Slurms and Wazix and that's it. Yeah, she has people she doesn't like. Uh, the next one from Den is uh, what happened to all your awesome bumpers? And Shannon could probably I explain it better than me, but we have some. They're all say Cotcast. So yeah. what I would like to do is maybe have another contest. Like remember we had that contest and that's how we got all those bumpers. Mm-hmm. Like have a contest for multiplaying bumpers. Then there you go. If you want to give us a bumper for the show, an intro bumper. Yeah, to do so. so uh, we got a shitload of bumpers too. Yeah, we had so many, and they were good. And um, basically, all you do, they can be as simple as "Hi, this is so and so," and you, you could give your game name. You can give like what what's your MMO and and the server you're on, and give a shout out to your if, guild or something. If you run if you a blog, to, say your blog and and your writing name, and then just say, and you are listening to multiplaying. And, and allowed- you can get creative. You can like um, you know, as you want. So, mm-hmm. and that only cost you what? What we're doing five ninety nine. If you want to have it on <laughs> just, the no, just email them into multiplaying at gmail dot com, or you can even send them to zelly dot cot at gmail dot com if you want. That way, uh, Steve doesn't have to forward them all to me. Yeah, we'll start using them. Um, we have to think of a prize. Oh. what can we get people? We'll announce mm. the prize next week. God, you guys suck. See what happens. You can win John's hamper. We'll think of something. No, they don't want that. We'd have to have... Okay, you know those guys who took E.T. 
and like <laughs> kept him quarantined. We would need those guys to get that hamper out of that. We'll come up with the prize announcement next we'll week. So if you, up, yeah. if you don't want to make something until you know what the prize is, don't worry about it. And last thing from Dean was uh, Den. Sorry, not Dean. Den uh, says, and thanks again for putting yourselves out there week after week. I listened to last Friday's show yesterday, and it seriously helped to brighten up a shitty day. Fuck yeah. That must have been a really shitty day. Cause I, that was, was a- I wouldn't even listen to that show. <laughs> No, she won't. Oh, that was a uh, train wreck. We do have one more, and it's from someone in the chat right now. It's from J Dub. Hi, J Dub. He's in the he's in the chat. How's it going? Uh, it says, "Hey guys, last week you talked about Assassin's Creed 2, and I was wondering, Slurms, if you finished the game? No, we talked about that earlier. Uh, and was there anything you didn't particularly like about the game? Uh, <laughs> oops. Uh, and I am also curious what you thought of the story. I actually got to a point where I forgot why I was doing what I was doing, and the ending wasn't any better than the first game. It was just more confusing. Also, did anyone notice how the city of Venice is just a collection of small islands out in the middle of the ocean? That's pretty much Venice. Uh, climb on top of a small building, and you see, and you will see that Venice is indeed out in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, kind of is. Um, but. First things first says, uh, did I finish it? No. Um, is there anything I didn't particularly like about the game? So far, the only thing that I'll say that I don't like about the game, and I was going to do like a little after review thing after I finished the game, um, I'm not I'm not enjoying, I'm starting to uh, not like the, the AI of the guards. It's becoming, especially even in large fights, it's super easy to kill people. Um, if, if I'm fighting with like, teammates like if i get mercenaries and they're fighting with me it's way too easy just to walk around back of someone and decide to stab them it's i don't know that's about the only thing that I, i'm not liking so far is that it's the guards are a little dumb so it's the same as assassin's creed one basically where you could be like sup i'm a backstabby yeah. yeah but i mean it's, it's not, you gotta you have to accept that it's a game at that point and yeah not worry too much about the other stuff. There has been some crazy times when I've been chased by guards that it's really been tight, but then there's so many other times that it's pretty much a cakewalk to get away from them and get hidden. Um, and I shouldn't say it should, it, being an assassin, it should be easy to uh, get away from the guards, but it seems like the methods that I'm going about getting away from the guards shouldn't be letting me not be seen by the guards. If that makes sense. Yeah. Anyways, hmm. like I jump into the water and then they, oh, he's in the water. I can't see him anymore. It's, but it should be. Where did he go? I don't know. Yeah. But that's it so far. Other than, I mean, that's small in comparison to my love of the game, though. The, the game is awesome. Uh, but. I'm I'm thrilled that we got feedback. and we got uh, feedback. We could talk to Pete about stuff and stuff. Yeah. So that was cool. It's like awesome. two weeks in a row we've gotten major oh. feedback. Pretty Keep cool. the feedback coming. We love talking about that stuff more than uh, talking about topics and shit. So Yeah, we're not good with topics or news. So yeah, keep it up. More feedback. We demand it. And but... I think that's it, right? I'm sorry, I'm playing We Roll. Oh, look at you. Yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's all I got. All right. All right, pants off. <laughs> Thank God. Well, gentlemen, <laughs> no point in hanging what, around this dump any longer. Yeah, Wait, where are you uh... going? I was gonna make espresso. Show's over, folks. You can't go. All the players are gonna die. Pick off, eh? Thanks for listening to Multiplaying, the companion podcast at multiplaying.net. Questions, comments, feedback, errors, etc. can be sent to multiplaying at gmail.com. We invite you to write a review on iTunes and visit our website at www.multiplaying.net. We've made a lot of friends, shared a lot of laughs. Often at the expense of others. I think some people are going to be upset. Let me just close this conversation by saying you are one unique individual. Thank you and good night.